Hello, this is Justin at the Tech Train here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own animated GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it, using Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm not going to offer any apologies, despite the fact that I'm English, uh, for pronouncing it GIF, not GIF. So I hope that doesn't put you off. But as I say, despite being English, I'm not going to offer an apology for that. Uh, let's just carry on. Um, you'll see in this uh, PowerPoint presentation, we've got a pair of eyes which keep looking left and right and blinking. And we have the arrows flashing around something new on the right hand side there. And yet, if we look at the animation pane, we can see that there is nothing there. There are no animations in this PowerPoint presentation. Now, you may well have uh, looked online for animated GIFs and put them into your presentation. But of course, sometimes you just can't quite find the one that you want or you find it, but it's something you have to buy. It's copyright or there's a, uh, something written across the front of it. So making your own animated GIFs that you can then reuse. These are simply uh, pictures um, and I can simply copy and paste them. I can uh, put them into different presentations. It's a saved image file. So it's not something that's embedded within this presentation. It's a saved image file. I can have a folder of these and I can put them into um, anything. I can even put them into the Google Slides uh, presentations if I wanted to. So how do we create an animated GIF then using PowerPoint? Well, let's start off with a new PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to change it to blank, close up the preview on the left hand side. And for this one, I'm going to have a sort of like a top tip type thing. So I'm going to do a rectangle first of all, and I'm going to edit the text inside it. And I'm going to call this top tip. Let's increase the font size slightly and change the font style as well. While we're at it, let's have something like Burbank Big Condensed. There we go. Um, now let's change the background. So I'm going to change this to let's have a, a sort of a dark red, I think uh, might look good. Um, and then we'll have a shape outline. Let's have a big uh, black outline around the outside there like that. And then I'm going to have some lights around the outside which are going to blink. So let's have a little circle I'm going to hold shift down as I draw the sh uh, circle to make sure that it's a perfect uh, circle. Uh, or circle apparently. Um, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, so that might explain the fact that uh, speech is slightly slurred. No, I haven't had a drink yet, but um, I think it's in anticipation of it. Right, let's go and put a black outline around the outside of this, and we'll have a yellow to begin with. So this is going to be the first light like this. Um, I think, yes, yeah, so I'll maybe have a slightly thicker outline as well, I think, around the outside of that one. There we go, like that. Uh, now I'm going to control and drag around to create another one. And this one is going to be white. And in fact, quite a lot of these are going to be white. So I'm going to control drag, um, could do control D to duplicate it, but I'm not necessarily wanting them all lined up. So I'm just going to make a whole load of circles, a bit like the sort of um, Hollywood type um, sort of mirror that they the makeup mirror they look in with all the lights around the outside. I'm doing this quite quickly because I don't want to uh, take all your time up watching me draw circles because let's be honest that's fairly easy to do. Uh, there we go it's a bit rough but that'll do. Now I'm going to take every third one of these I'm going to click and hold down shift so that I can select every third light. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I haven't quite got the number right so um, Oh, yes, I have. No, I have actually got that right. That's fine. Uh, so we'll color those yellow as well, like this. There we go. And the ones in between, I'm actually going to take those, um, I think, and just put them as off-white. Uh, because one of the things that we'll want is to have a transparent background. Now, you don't have to, but I think it looks... Oh, I've missed, messed up there, haven't I, slightly? Um, Completely miscounted. Let's squeeze another light in there. Just move these around a bit. Um, yes, so if you want a, a transparent background, that makes it just a little bit more um, professional looking, I suppose. Uh, is that right? There we go. I think that's right. So um, what I'm going to do is set the white background to be transparent. 
Um, and so all of these lights here, rather than having them as white and therefore transparent, I'm going to put them just slightly off white. So that's the first gray here, which is uh, white background, 5% darker. You can't really tell the difference. Um, but to be honest, when you're doing PowerPoint presentations, you generally don't like to have a white background. It's a little bit too garish anyway. Right, let's just put this into the middle. So I'm just going to click and drag to select everything there and put that somewhere in the middle. That will do. And now I want my preview because what I want to do is Control D to duplicate this slide. And on this slide, I'm now going to move each of these yellow lights round one. So what I'm going to do is click on the first one, which should be lit, so the one after the yellow one, like this. By the way, if you're on my Patreon uh, feed and you're subscribed as a Patreon, you will get all of this uh, completely uh, free. You'll have this all included. Um, so you can download the animated GIFs that you'll see as well as this presentation. So if you want that, that's on patreon.com forward slash the tech train. So that's the second one. And you can see straight away, if I just go between the two, the lights sort of rotate around. I'm going to do one more. So control D to duplicate that again. And then again, click and hold down shift for each light that's just after the yellow one like that. Color them yellow and then select the left hand yellow light and switch that off. So nice, simple little animation. Now, of course, this is going to be on uh, three different slides. So we've got slide one, slide two, slide three like that. And we can make any other changes we wanted to. So if I wanted to, I could have the top tip flash yellow or something like that. Um, I'm going to keep it simple for the moment. Um, oh, the writing, I'll just set that writing as well so that that is not white. So let's just go to the font and just choose that a slightly off white. What should I go for yellow? Should I go for yellow? Uh, that's a bit too, too much yellow, I think. No, let's just do that. So select that and choose just slightly off white and the same for that one. Now you don't have to use off white. If you want to have a transparent background, you could use a completely contrasting color, green, for example, example, do it like a green screen type thing. I have done that. I find sometimes that you do get a little bit of ghosting with a green. It's not perfect. It's not like a video editor where you can really play with the controls and get rid of that slight green ghosting. So I tend not to do that if I can. I'd rather go for white and just have an off white around the outside. Anyway, there we are. So now I've got my uh, three slides. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this. So I'm going to make a new folder and call this top tip like this. Um, and then inside that folder, I'm going to name this as uh, top tip again and save that. So I've just saved that as a PowerPoint presentation. However, I'm going to go to save as again uh, in the same folder, but this time I'm going to change it so it's not a PowerPoint presentation, but it's a GIF graphics interchange format. And that's why I believe it should be GIF, not GIF, because the G stands for graphics and that's pronounced graphics, not graphics, which sounds like something that a giraffe would do. So um, I'm going to keep with GIF. Uh, so there we are, top tip, save it as a, as a graphics interchange format, an image format. Click Save. It'll ask you if you just want to save this one slide or all of them. We, of course, want all slides. So I click All Slides. There we go. That's been done. And at this point, what we want to do now is to head over to a website, uh, easygif.com slash maker. And this website here allows us to upload our PowerPoint files and convert them into an animated GIF that we can then save and put back into PowerPoint. Uh, it's completely free. Um, so I'm going to start off with uh, this choose files. So let's go back into the top tip folder and there's my PowerPoint presentation. That's the folder that PowerPoint created for me. And inside there are the three slides and these are images, not uh, PowerPoint files. So I'm going to select all of those files and click open and then click this blue button here, upload and make a GIF. There we go. Now we can choose the delay here. The delay uh, is basically how long each of these frames lasts. Now with the blinking eyes you saw earlier on, the eyes were open for a little bit longer. Uh, I think they were open for about half a second. Um, and then when it came to blinking, the blink was three different frames and that was just 10 one hundredths of a second each. 
quite quick. Now this is the default 20 um, one hundredth, so a fifth of a second each one. That may be enough. Uh, we can have a look and, and see. Let's click make a GIF first of all, and we'll see what that looks like. And you can see those lights flashing around. They, they're all right. They're going a little bit fast, I think. So I'm going to slow that down slightly. Let's double this to 40 one hundredths. So four tenths of a second, just under half a second each. Click make a GIF. Um, and there we are, that looks about right. So that preview looks fine. So you can play around with this. You can click and drag these and change the order of them if you decide to. You can copy them and duplicate slides and you can have a different delay for each one if you want to, which is what I did with the eyes. Anyway, once you've done that and you click make a GIF and you're happy with it, the next thing to do will be to change the transparency because at the moment we have this big white background, which we obviously don't want. So we're going to click on effects just underneath this preview here. And if we scroll down, you'll see we have this option here to replace color with transparency. And you have white, black, and custom. So you can put your own custom um, color in there if you wanted to. I'm going to just simply click the button for white like that. And you'll see that there are loads of other changes here that you can do, lots of different changes. If you want to play with those, feel free. I'm not going to worry about anything there. I'm going to keep it quite simple. Um, I've done most of the coloring and everything in PowerPoint, so I'm happy with what I've got. So just replace color with transparency, in this case white, scroll down and click apply selected. And there we will have it. Now, of course, it looks white still because it's just a plain background, but that's now transparent. And um, again, there are loads more options you can play around with if you wanted to. Uh, you've also got the ability to optimize it. So if you're looking to have a very small file size, then you can compress this even more. But for our PowerPoint file, that'll be absolutely fine. So now I'm going to click on save. That will download it. You'll see it's downloaded here. And what I'm going to do on my other screen is just drag that into the folder and I'm going to rename it as well. Um, top tip GIF. There we go. So let's now go back into this presentation here. Let's get rid of this address. By the way, I'll put this address as a link below for you. Um, and now I can simply go to insert pictures, GIF maker and into top tip and there we are that's so inside here is the PowerPoint presentation there's the folder with all the individual slides and that's the gif that I just downloaded from the website and renamed so if I double click that you'll see there it is it goes straight into this file now there is still a little bit of ghosting the white around the outside but that's because it's really quite large you don't generally have it that big and you'll see that as soon as I shrink it it tends to disappear anyway and of course we now have this um, transparent background and if I was to run this this presentation you'll see there we are there is my animated gif and that is a file um, so if I bring this uh, file as uh, folder into here you'll see there is the um, the image I've just imported it's a, a gif file um, so that is an animated gif that I can now put into any PowerPoint presentation or even a Google Slides presentation or even put it into a website if I wanted to as well so you can embed this as an animated gif in a website if you wish to um, that's it you've got an animated gif and you can reuse it so that's it um, I hope that you found that useful. Uh, as I say, if you want to download um, this file that has the top tips um, GIF that you just saw there, as well as the new and the eyes. Uh, so if you want all of this, you can have this and download it from the Patreon feed, patreon.com forward slash the tech train. So I hope that was useful. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up. As I say, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. Um, so perhaps you give this a thumbs up just for the commitment. That would be fantastic. Of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you know exactly when a video has gone live. Um, I aim to publish videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays at 5 o'clock UK time, that's 11 in the morning central time, so you can look out for the next video. Thank you very much indeed for watching, uh, leave any comments below and I will reply as soon as I can and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.